Even though it feels like God isn't listening or acting, I will wait with faith. This is the topic Karen asked me to speak about. Over the last four years, I have been waiting to move house and being frustrated that obstacles occurred. During this time, I examined my prayer life, Bible studies, service and giving. The journey started in 2019 when I contacted Rosemount Retirement Village about moving to a particular style of unit. These units had all been sold in the first building and the ones in the second had names on them. I added my name to the waiting list and quickly a unit became available. Praise the Lord. COVID arrived in 2020 and Rosemount informed me that the construction had been put off indefinitely. In 2022, I was informed that certain unit styles had been changed, but that mine was the same and construction would start in June. All good so far, praise the Lord. At a meeting to pay the deposit, I was surrounded by large plans on the wall. I located my unit and asked, what is the hatched area beside my unit? A gardening potting shed. What? I requested that the shed did not go ahead. I will spare you the consultation complaining that then took place after that for 18 months. How long, Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? November 23, I refused to sign the contract. I identified one other unit that I would consider, but there had been a name on that when I first inquired four years ago. I resigned myself to wait until one became available. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. January 2024, I received a phone call informing me that the one unit I would consider had become available. Praise the Lord. Is this why I had to hang in there and wait? You want me to have this bigger one? Oh, what do you want me to do with it? Thank you, Lord. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry.